going to show you a little bit about how to do a simple video timeline animation on a layered project. And um, for this particular assignment, um, I'm hoping that people can do a five inch by five inch by um, 150 uh, resolution so that it doesn't take too long to load. And um, tunnel. And I'm naming this one Tunnel Animation, which you'll see pretty soon. Um, and so basically just choose your, your height and width and your resolution. And it's good to have it probably in red, green, blue color. And um, that's about all you need to do. And you go create. You're going to want to place your image into it and go from there. Here's my image that we're going to be working with. So basically, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking uh, some of these layers over here and we're going to be converting these into video animation. Now it's helpful if you have a ton of layers like this to have uh, the show transform tools um, check mark because like that'll tell you which layer you're on. The other way you can do it a lot of times is just to uh, take the eyeball off over here and then you can see which layer you're working with. Um, real important tip. Now, the first thing you're going to do when you open up your image and you have all your layers over here is create your collage and then you go to window and you're going to click on timeline. You can see if you don't if you don't have timeline clicked on it look like this like a normal screen. I'm going to go uh, window and then click on timeline. And once you click on timeline, then you'll get this little box down here. Um, in order to make this into a video timeline, you actually have choice. You can create frame animation, which is um, good for certain things, like if you wanted to create one frame at a time, and I'll show you a little example of that later. But the easiest is the video timeline. And then you just um, click on it once you've done that, and you'll get all these layers. If you edge up here, and it gets to that, you can lift this up like this so you can see more of your layers, um, which is helpful. And then Command-0, and you can shrink your thing down. Um, but for instance, this layer right here is goldenfish number one. And when you click the little tab down, you have these three options in Photoshop of what you want this thing to do. One is its position in space. One is how opaque it is, whether it's transparent or opaque, whether you can see it or not. And one is the style of the image, what kind of style you, it is. So you can change those three things. Um, the one that I'm going to show you mostly on this uh, tutorial is position. And so, like, for instance, if I want this fish to appear to be swimming across this thing, um, I'm going to set my first position maybe a little back over here off the screen and I'm going to click on position and that will automatically put this little yellow dot right there because I clicked on position. Now um, if I want the fish to end up here at the end of the thing, I'm going to move it over to here and maybe I want the fish to be like over here at the end of the uh, five seconds because this automatically defaults to five seconds. I forgot to tell you that. And see how it automatically puts a little position there? So if you click this little play button, you'll see the fish moving across the space to that end position that I found. Um, it's a little confusing when you first do this. Uh, good recommendation is you just start over here with the, where you want it to be, and then move this cursor all the way to where you want it to end. Now, if you want the fish to change speed in, as it's moving across that space, um, you can say, um, move your cursor to like maybe here, right? And then um, click another position dot, and you'll see what happens with that one. It's kind of neat. If you want to get back to the first one, you can click on the all the way back. And then, so it's going to go a certain speed to there and then off to there. And if you move this dot like closer, 
you can see what happens when you go back to the beginning. See how it slows down after it gets to that point? Um, and so basically it's trying to get to the same spot, but you're saying at this point you're going to do this, and at that point you're going to do this. So you could you can move these dots. It's kind of a, another way to play around with it is to move one of those dots over there, and you can see it's going real slow, real slow, real slow, real slow. When it gets to this moment, it has to get over there really fast, so it scoots over. Um, so that's something to play with. The other thing you can play around with um, have a different opacity like so it could start over here with like full 100% opacity so you can really see it and then as it passes in through here I could have it start to disappear um, I could kick it down to say 79 and then when it arrives at the end it could go down all the way so let's uh, play that for you guys so you can see what that looks like so as it's moving, it's slowly disappearing and getting transparent and then poof, goes away. So, I mean, that's another thing you can play with, you know, and figure out ideas. Um, the problem, I will say, with this version of, of doing things, it's fairly simple what you can do. You can move things in position in the, in the space. You can change its opacity, but you can't change its scale. Um, in order to change scale, you'd actually have to do a frame-by-frame frame animation, um, which is a different approach to this whole thing. Okay, so when you've got this all the way you want it, and um, you can kind of see it's all moving around. The first time you click on it and have things move, it'll always move slow like that. So don't be spooked when you see it barely, like, barely moving. It kind of has to load in order to move properly. So once you got it all the way you want, um, then it's time to save it and what we're going to do is go to file and export and instead of this one you're going to export by saving for the web and um, that allows it you to make a gif out of it um, and so it usually takes a little while to load depending on the size of your image um, i recommend don't go any higher than like 150 pixels per inch at five and a half um, so we're going to go to Perceptual, and we're going to make sure it's on GIF. And we're going to see right here, you can see it's 32 megabytes, which is a lot to have um, load. And so if you give it a little looseness with the lossy, you can, um, you can actually save yourself some megabytes. See, that brought it down to 19 right down here so that's a lot less um, time it's going to take looks like 3642 seconds on a slower um, if you want to lower it even more you can play with the image size take it down to maybe 600 and um, see how that works you kind of have to click off of it in order to see the effects of what you did and and take a second here to adjust and anyway when you get it down somewhere reasonable where you want it to be um, then you just click save and see this is down to 13 ideally you want it somewhere in the 10 range so you might have to increase your and um, 11 that's pretty good so we're gonna click save and we've got looping options on forever down there. So that's that's kind of, you want it just to keep looping around and around. And I'm gonna take it off to the desktop and click save. And then you can just load it right like you would load anything into um, Canvas and share it with us. Um, looking forward to seeing what you do with this simple animation. Now, I just wanna state one last thing it's it's fairly simple what you can do there's a lot of other Adobe um, software where you can do more complex animations um, and hopefully next semester we can jump into doing more complex animations um, but I thought it'd be fun for people to get a chance to do some real simple um, video position animation okay so hopefully this helped you out and I'll talk to you again next time